Hey, Fluffy. Um, we're live, buddy. We are rolling. All right, let's see. Make sure my mic's working. If you can hear me, as soon as people join in, please let me know. What's up, Mr. Fluffy? And June. Oh, and can't forget Kenai Boy right here. Definitely can't forget Kenai. What's up, Fluff? What's up? I don't know if you guys just heard that or not, but somebody, and by somebody, I mean somebody, just let one go. Dang, Kenai, you've only been out of bed for like 10 minutes and you're already losing control of your bowels. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, uh, I'm just letting some people get in here. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's almost 9 a.m. where we are at. Where are you guys tuning in from? Now that I'm talking, the dogs think I have a meeting or something important's going on. So now, of course, well, they want all the attention. Of course, they want all the attention. Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Good morning, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no, this is... This is not no 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 whoa 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 okay you guys off off gosh sit please sit down sit stay stay there big head stay June take it easy you guys can't be getting all jealous while dad's in a meeting you almost knocked my computer off the desk. Goodness, you guys see what I have to live with? Working from home, gosh, that is the biggest blessing ever. I get to deal with real problems like that instead of, you know, problems, I don't know, what other type of problems I would have working. But anyway, I hear Sam coming. Sam's on the way up to say good morning to everyone. Oh, June. June's growling at mom. <laughs> Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We got Alabama, Poland, Louisiana. People coming in from everywhere. Kenai, what happened? What happened, Kenai? You weren't any part of that, huh? I know that these guys want to say good morning to you. So come over here. Come over here and say good morning. Come over here. Say what's up. Right here. Say hi. Right here. No, Fluffy. Fluffy is the most jealous dog on the earth, I think. Can I? Can I? You can say what's up. Say good morning, everybody. June. Take that jealous attitude out of this room. Fluffy, you take yours out, too. Can I try to say hi? You already had your chance to say hi. And you almost knocked the computer off the desk. Yeah, you. I cannot. I wish I had it. Oh, the boys are back. All right. Okay. For anybody who's joining in and not subscribed or doesn't know the channel, these are our four Rottweilers. And, well, pretty much this is what we deal with every day. All right. Looks like we've got people joining in from everywhere. Up to 42 viewers. Good morning, everybody. Um, so real quick, I just wanted to hop on, give you guys an update. I know we haven't been posting quite as much lately. Um, if you guys have been tuning in, you got notifications turned on. You guys saw the Lexi video recently, and it was one year ago on the 15th, I believe. No, the 19th, 20th, 15th, 20th, 19th, some. It was one year ago, about a week ago, for Lexi that we uh, brought her into our family. And by family, I mean not only our home, but Hayden's home as well, Jill's home. Uh, they are taking incredible care of her, and we could not be more grateful for the home that Lexi went to. So if you guys haven't seen that video, you're going to have to check it out after this live stream. It's really, really a good one. Fluffy, I wish we could have taken you with, but well, 
Last time you're around, Lexi, you couldn't behave. June, we need to get you back with Diesel because, well, if you guys saw that video, you know that him and Diesel pretty much are identical twins. Uh, Ju June is a little smaller than Diesel. Uh, maybe he just like maybe Diesel just likes to eat more. Maybe I, I'm not really sure, but we need to get Diesel and June back together for sure. So that's going to be happening in the future. Uh, we have a lot of updates to go over today. So if you guys have time, be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to ask questions when we get to the, the Q&A. And thanks for joining in. So we got Belgium here. We got Milwaukee. We got Detroit. We got Liverpool in the United Kingdom, Michigan, Hungary. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Happy birthday to all four. Kine, somebody said happy birthday, even though it's three days away. Somebody said happy birthday. Yeah, seem real excited. Real, real excited. I love it. Um, let's see. Okay, we got uh, Illinois, Houston. I've been to Illinois once. No, twice. I've been to Illinois twice. Twice. Ireland. Welcome in, everybody. Wales. Jamaica. Oh, man. How warm is it in Jamaica right now? If you don't. How warm is it in Jamaica? Sam, come in here. We got somebody in Jamaica. We got to know how. Oh, two. Two people from Jamaica. Slovakia, El Salvador. We're literally tuning in from all over the world. Everybody, welcome to the live. Sam, hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How's this baby in here doing? She's good. I'm sure all these guys want a bump update. So we had, um, what week are we on? 29. Week 29. We've got. I'm wearing just, this coat because I'm leaving and it's freezing outside. So yeah, how cold was it this morning? Yesterday was nine degrees, something like that. Yesterday was nine. I haven't checked the. Uh, I think it's thirteen. The, the weather today, but yeah, so Every, we got a half inch of snow. Yeah, we did. We got half inch of snow on everything. It was really, really cold this morning. I had to have the heater on to go outside. Uh, the dogs didn't spend too much time outside. I don't even think Kina has gone outside this morning yet. But anyway, Sam's dressed up. She's going to uh, to get a pregnancy uh, massage. What else do we have for the baby update? Um, we had an ultrasound last week because I wanted to check on her to swear I had COVID and more of my mom passed away. So she's healthy and healthy. She's doing great. Yeah. Like, and when I say great, I mean everything. Like, like there's they not said, one single thing yeah, that they can find wrong. They said everything was going well. So probably a big thanks to everyone who has kept us in their thoughts and prayers. Probably a big thanks to this woman right here for putting a lot of her own energy into growing the baby and making a beautiful help healthy baby i can't thank this woman enough i wish she could stay and kick it with us for the live and i'm getting hot but <laughs> yeah she does have lots of hair they told us that last week at 28 weeks they said they could see lots of hair <laughs> she did she did have lots of hair i have lots of hair sam has lots of hair um yeah, so i don't i don't really think she has an it's opportunity crazy. to not have much hair yeah she's gonna be a monkey and 10 feet tall all right, okay. All I'm right. I'm okay. Too hot. I love you. Have a good day. All right, bye. Hey, bye, guys. Have you guys, a good day. Go say bye to mom. Go say bye to mom and then come back and hang out. Okay? I will feed them as soon as we're done with this live. Uh, okay. All right. I love you. I'll see you after. Okay. <laughs> uh, go. Can I go say bye to mom? Can I stay right here? He said, nope. Puffy, hop up in this chair. Somebody, June, hop up in this chair. Hop up. Oh, God. No, not, no, 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 no. Not on my lap. Not on my lap. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Not on my lap. All right. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that baby bump update. It's really, it's really a cool thing. I don't know how many people in here are uh, family people, parents, have kids, you know. Uh, this is really a fun experience. I, I I feel really bad for Sam. She's she's not had an easy pregnancy. She's been really sick um, the whole instance with mom, and it's taken a toll on her body. She's very tired at the end of the day. She just can't keep going. And you, you guys know me. I'm somebody who's up early in the morning. I'm going all day. And then I'm up late at night. Uh, lately, I'll tell you guys what. I have been able to get some sleep. Oh, my heavens. 
I cannot tell you guys how nice that is. So if you guys saw our video uh, of Kenai taking over the bed, then you guys will have maybe seen the update where I no longer have a job. So just real quick, Kenai, high five. Actually, fluff. Sit. High five. Right here. High five. Give me a high five. Yeah. High five. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, guys. So here is what happened. I no longer have a real job anymore. Um, I quit my nine to five job. And I somebody said sleep while you can. So yeah, I quit my nine to five job. Um, and I'm getting sleep while I can before the baby comes because I know that I'm not going to be able to sleep much. But some of you guys know that I'm a person who just doesn't sleep much anyway. Um, but with all that being said, I am now a full-time YouTube and content creator. Mama, did you hear that? Mama, mama, did you hear that? Mama, did you hear that? For like five years, for like 1,500 days, you've been waiting for dad to come home from work. And guess what? Dad doesn't have to go to work anymore. Dad gets to work right here from home. Oh, oh my gosh, Fluffy. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that so exciting? Give me a hug. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, 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 dude. No, I see you. June's getting very jealous. I wish I had like a full wide pan of this room. Uh, let's see. Holy cow. There's so many. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see here. <laughs> wow. That was an exciting moment. Fluff. Who has more energy, me or Fluffy? I want to know. All right. Okay, let's see here. We've got some things going off. In... Somebody says, I have an 11-week Roddy and wife wants one more. Listen, I'm, I can't tell you enough that that right there is a trap that is never ending. Like, uh, speaking from experience so hard to do things backwards on the screen speaking from experience it doesn't stop like if you guys want another one now then in a year when then one's big you want another one and then when that one's big you want another one and then good luck good luck if she wants another one now she want another one in a year good luck just have all of them just get all the dogs all dogs that you can Jim, what are you doing What are you doing? Fluffy, what are you doing? Um, let's see. What what updates does Fluffy have? So, Fluffy turned three, four, six, seven. Fluffy turned four. Kita turned... Oh, my heavens. I think it's been a long morning. It's been a very long morning. So, we have a one-year-old. A three-year-old, a five-year-old, and a seven-year-old. That's right. That's right. So Kenai seven in three days. So Fluffy is three years old. Fluffy turned three years old this month. He's just over 100 pounds, weighing in probably at about 105 to 107 pounds. Fluffy boy. What is it? What is it? Happy birthday to Fluffy this month. If you guys are following the channel, have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that his birthday is on January 1st. So every new year, Fluffy turns a new year. So that's what we've got for Fluffy. Kita, you guys know Kita turned five. Five. I got too many kids. I got way too many kids. So Kita turned five on the 23rd. January 23rd, Kita turned five, and her and I this year are having a joined birthday because we've been really busy. So we actually got to spend the whole day home with Kita on her birthday, and we're going to get to spend the whole day home with Kenai on his birthday, but we're just going to put their two birthday parties together and do kind of one big weekend celebration. So that's going to be kind of exciting too. Did you hear that? I'm talking just about you, honey. I'm talking just about you. Just about you. Happy birthday, you sweet honey. 
So, Kita is weighing in at 98 pounds, five-year birthday. This this is more, I mean, kind of so that I can go back and watch, um, you know, years down the road. I can kind of remember just exactly what they weighed, exactly how old they were, all that stuff. Even though I'm going to go back and be like, gosh, dude, you can't even remember how old your own kids are. What kind of parent are you? I'm that parent, I'm that type of parent. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any difference between American Rottweiler and Europe Rottweiler? My guess would be that one was bred in America and one was bred in Europe. I know that seems like just very, but it is. That's that's very, a lot of times when I hear people say German Rottweilers, it's because that dog came from Germany. That's usually, that's usually the case. So let's see, we've got Kita updates. June is turning one year coming up soon. So we have June's birthday is on March 6th. So March 6th, June is going to turn one year old. And June's like 98 pounds. Like he's taller than all the other dogs. But he's like skinny in the waist. And I think it's just because as a puppy and maybe he's growing so much, he's just using so much of that food that it's not really storing and becoming a fat like it is on the older dogs. Fluffy was a little bit stockier of a puppy, but June is like one of the slimmest, most fit, most punkest dogs I've ever had. June is giving me I, – I wish you guys could see him right now. Move my computer up. This might be a bad idea, but he's just chilling, like with his head under my desk, paws up in the air. He's he doesn't even care. He's big chilling. Um, let's see what were we what were we talking about, June? Uh, oh yeah, June. June has been the hardest to train dog that I think that I have ever had, for sure. Hundred percent. Um, let's see. Someone says, does everyone find that rots with tails are leaner than those dogs? Um, I don't really find that, uh, you know, Lexi, if you guys know Lexi, she has a tail and she's, she's a big stack dog. Like she's, she's even almost a little bit bigger than fluffy. Um, but like June's brother is huge. June is huge. I mean, they're just big. So Right here, you can kind of tell. So Fluffy's not neutered, and he has a little bit bigger of a head than Kenai. Now, he's also sitting a little closer to the camera, so it's going to be a, you know, a little bit off of, you know, actual size. But Kenai was neutered at a really, really, really young age, and that's why we recommend doing it from 18 to 24 months at minimum. Remember, 18 is like the bare bare minimum for any reason 24 months is um where i think every dog should make it to at least before they're neutered if you're going to be neutering as an option and the reason why is because well if you look at kenai and you look at fluffy you'll see kenai has a little tiny bit of an underdeveloped size head for a male rottweiler and there's nothing wrong with that kenai is still a perfect dog um one of the best dogs that we've ever had ever in my entire life in but the size right there the development comes from a lot of that testosterone um, and a lot of that development that not being fixed provides so in here i see somebody says uh our, our rottweiler is 85 pounds and one years old i think that's a healthy weight i, I honestly think that's a great weight I think that being on the more lean side of where a male or female Rottweiler should end up is always a benefit. Now, the only thing that you're really sacrificing there is the, the, the weight and appearance of the dog. So if you want the biggest, baddest, meanest looking Rottweiler, odds are they're not always going to be the healthiest. Odds are they're going to be overfed. Um, they're not going to be as healthy. They're not getting the proper exercise that they're supposed to be getting um, and much more. So one thing that uh, I always tell people is don't shoot for that top number of what a Rottweiler should be. Don't shoot to go over that number. Shoot to be in the middle of that number or on the low end of that number and make sure that your dog is happy, healthy, getting the exercise that they need and eating 
a very good diet. And that's what matters. The, the, the weight of the dog is not typically what matters. Their overall health is what matters. So just remember that. Let's see what else we got here. How's Kenai's leg? Kenai, give us an update, buddy. Tell us about your leg. How's it doing? Okay, thanks for sharing. So Kenai's leg is not doing better by any means, but I'm not sure that it's getting worse. He is on pain medication, so he's still eating half a pain med a day. He's still on probiotics. He's still on, uh, or we just switched over to, sorry, we just switched over to science diet and we did large breed for senior dogs and we did a half and half mixture with that and um, uh, joint mobility. So, oh, oh, Kina, you coming to tell us that it's a, what is it? What is it? What is he? What are you trying to tell us? Oh my gosh. You're trying to tell us. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, he handed me something right here. Oh my goodness. Did you have this made? Did you have this made for June's birthday? Oh, Kenai, that's so sweet of you, buddy. Man, you guys are going to love this. Kenai just brought me <clears throat> a birthday present. And I think it's for June because, well, I'll let you guys decide who you think it's for. But check this out. Kenai just brought me this right now in this box. Look at, I think, guys, I think that's June on a sweater. Guys, I think that's a crew. June, what do you think about this, man? You're on a t-shirt. Oh, you, so you set this up. You sent this to Kenai? All right. I found out what happened now. June told his side of the story. Kenai said, Dad, I think June got me a birthday present. But what happens is, what happens is, Junior said that he ordered this sweatshirt right here so that Kenai could remember who Dad's favorite dog was. Who raised this puppy? Fluffy, did you teach him this type of behavior? Did you teach him this? Guys, look at how cute that sweater is. For real. That's a good looking sweater. Fluffy, what do you have? What do you have, bro? Fluffy just brought me a gift too. What's in this? Oh my. Fluffy. Okay, now that's just selfish. That's just really selfish. Okay, look. Now Fluffy brought me one. But check us out. Oh my. Fluff. Dude, that's your favorite color. Look, Fluffy got one with his own face on it to remind me, you did this, to remind me who his favorite son was. Look, you guys remember how I was talking about the jealousy issue that we have in the house? Well, now my dogs are ordering t-shirts with their faces on them because they're jealous. Gosh, Fluffy? We were this we weren't even making this about you. We we're talking about Kenai. We we're talking about Kenai. So I'm gonna go back to talking about Kenai. Go put your shirt on and show the fans. Go put it on. All right. So here is the rest of uh Kenai's deal. So we've got Kenai on his pain medications. We have a heat brace on the way for Kenai. Um, it's too cold to go swimming. We haven't done really any warm water therapy. Uh, Kenai really is not a huge fan of the bath. He's a huge fan of swimming, but he really kind of hates the bath. But the, uh, the thing is, it is Kenai's leg is not really going to get better. Like the situation, the matter of fact is it's not going to get better. So at this point, we're just trying to stop it from getting worse. Um, and we're trying to prolong it until we get his surgery to get him practically a new leg or however they're going to do it. I still don't even know the full process, but we still plan to get Kenai's leg fixed. Uh, 
I will do anything for any one of my animals, and especially Kenai. Kenai is one of the OG family members. Uh, he's the oldest dog in the pack. He's the most loyal dog that we have, and he's one of my best friends. So we will do whatever we have to to make sure that if we can keep it from getting worse, then we're in a good place. If it gets worse, then we need to probably look at surgery sooner than, you know, within a year or two. So anyway, there's an update on Kenai. There's an update on the merchandise, which you guys saw the dogs jealousy war. Give me a quick peek at those one more time. This is a shirt with Fluffy's face on it in his favorite color. This is a shirt with June's face on it. If you guys are interested in grabbing yourself any one of those Roddy Channel merchandise items, go ahead. Link should be underneath this video or on really any of our other videos. One sec. Hey, watch out. What are you getting into? No. Nope, nope, nope. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's my bad. That's my bad. Fluffy brought us a bar of soap. Ugh, that is disgusting. That is the nastiest bar of soap I think I have ever encountered in my life. And I gotta go wash my hands. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So let's go back to the chat and see if we can answer a question or two. <laughs> We can clearly see that your pack lives in harmony. Did it require work or training? And is it something which happened naturally? Um, yes. Check out our training playlist on our videos on our channel. You can go click on our, our logo anywhere you see it. Go to the channel. Go to playlist at the top. Go to training. And you'll see kind of how we work with the dogs. So, yes, we train with them a lot. Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys. The last few months have been nuts and i don't really want to make any excuses i don't want to say you know we didn't have time of course we had time but we've been really busy we, we've had a lot of stuff come up a lot of unexpected stuff um, i've been planning to leave my job for quite some time and so i pretty much paid down you know all of our debts and everything as much as we could consolidated everything refinanced everything and we've been pretty busy we've been upgrading the house We've been taking care of the dogs. We haven't really taken any vacations for ourselves. Um, I personally have been taking a lot of customer videos. Um, a lot of a lot of clients have been reaching out to get commercial work or marketing work done, and so I have. I've been really busy, but with all that happening, the dogs have been put kind of on the back burner as far as training goes, and. It really, really shows. Now, I want you guys to remember that these dogs are super, super smart. They can learn tricks really quick. They can pick them up quick. But if you don't continue training with them and you don't keep up consistency and you don't remind them what you want from them, they will forget. It, it gets drowned out over time with you talking, with um, other people talking, with them hearing people on TV, all these words, all these commands. Um, you forgetting to praise them or give them food anytime you're having a normal conversation and you say sit and you don't even think about it and then you don't praise them for doing so. June and Kita are over here having a moment. Um, but long story short is your dogs need consistent training. Your dogs need upkeep. Your dogs need hygiene all the time. They need train. They need love. They need cuddle. You can't just love them for one day of the week and then be fine the rest of the week. You just can't do that. You can't train with them one day a week and expect them that they're going to stay trained and, and great in every situation. It's just not realistic. It's not going to happen. So with that being said, Yes, it takes a lot of training, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of dedication. Um, and most importantly, the most important thing is it takes a lot of love and patience. That guy's punk. I still love him. I'm very patient with him, even though he pushes me like harder than any dog I've ever had. For sure. 
So hopefully that answers your question right there. Um, let's see. What age do you leave your dogs in, alone in the house? June's been being left alone in the house since he was brought home. So eight weeks. Now, if you've seen our kennel training videos or if you want to see our kennel training videos, check into those. We teach you guys about how to kennel train your animals, when to kennel train them, uh, things not to do when kennel training, things to do when kennel training, and how to set up your kennel properly. So setting your dog up for success is the most important thing in answering that question. It's not an age you can leave your dogs alone in the house. It's when you leave them set up for success. There's no wrong or right answer a year. June, what? We're going to get flagged, man. If you keep doing that on the camera, we're going to get flagged for content. We're That's violating. That's violating community guidelines, I think, dude. I don't even I don't even know what's going on anymore. I have no clue. Um, let's see. Exclusive gaming. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Diego with male rots 110 to 130 pounds. Do you recommend anything besides rod diet to make big, bigger, stronger, or mostly genetics? Um, switching to a raw diet is not gonna make your dog bigger, it's just gonna make their overall health better if done properly. If not done properly. It's going to damage your dog's digestive tract, um, their immune system, and their overall health. <laughs> He's funny. He's a real funny dog. So let's see. 10 p.m. in India. Welcome in. Welcome, Karen. Hello. How are you doing? Tail docking. I honestly, this is like a... That's a pool I don't want to jump in. That is a pool I don't want to jump in. But let me just say this. Since we've already started and adjusted the mood temperature, even June chilled out for this one. If a Rottweiler having a docked tail makes you not appreciate or respect or makes you disrespect that Rottweiler or that channel, you are not a Rottweiler lover. You are a breed-specific standard Rottweiler should-be lover. And that's all I'm going to say on it. We have dogs with tails. We have dogs with dog tails. We love every Rottweiler. Sheltered Rottweilers, rescued Rottweilers, Beautifully bred Rottweilers, Rottweilers with long tails, Rottweilers with half tails, Rottweilers with damaged tails, Rottweilers with damaged ears. You name it. It doesn't make me see a dog differently just because they have a tail or if they don't. And if you do, that's on you. That is on you. <laughs> how do you know how much to feed your dogs? So... This is a that's a good question with a Rottweiler. That's really a good question. Um, and the answer is not wrong, it's not right, uh, it's not the answer. This is my opinion on your question. You can tell if a dog's being underfed. It's really hard in Rottweilers, though, because even they could eat like literally the whole bag of food. And then 20 seconds later, eat a whole nother bag of food. Um, so just because a Rottweiler acts hungry doesn't mean they're hungry. Now, what's important here is each different type of food, each different type of meat, each different type of protein, each different type of kibble, you name it, is all different in its own way. So we don't have one weight for raw meat. We don't have one amount for kibble. Your food bag will have suggestions. Let's call these benchmarks, okay? Um, start at the benchmarks and adjust accordingly, okay? Now, when you go, it's the same thing when you go into different places to order food. I might walk into, oh man, this could be like very highly controversial. So I'm not even going to use, I'm not even going to use two, I'll use two different water bottles. 
Now, if I drink two cups of water, one has more, one has less. This one has like 30 ounces, I think. This one's 24. However, this brand might fill you up with 24 ounces more than this one does with 30 ounces. So this might be a higher quality food that you actually need less of because it has less fillers in it. So something to consider is following the recommended dog food producer, manufacturer, company, whatever you want to call it. Follow their standards, benchmarks, sorry, follow their benchmarks and adjust accordingly. If your dog's getting a little overweight, maybe slim, maybe cut back just a little bit. If your dog's getting underweight, if your dog's acting hungry, if your dog's drinking more water, trying to fill up their belly, go ahead and add a little bit more food. It's not going to save you a whole, you're not going to go poor feeding your dog the proper amount. You're not going to get rich saving your the dog the amount of food that you think the difference of they need, if that makes sense. Just adjust accordingly, even though sometimes it can be a little more expensive to feed a Rottweiler. But I personally would – I don't like them to just free food, free free feed. I don't like how there's one bowl of food, and then I think sometimes in situations that creates bullying, one dog might be a little more food aggressive, and they might um, stay near the bowl and try and protect it, as you might say. But that's just us. I mean, if you want to free feed, if you want to do all that stuff, go ahead. That's just my recommendations on that question. Um, let's see here. The way June acted in that video, he might need more food. That's the thing is June will act like that after he eats food. June will act like that before he goes to bed, after he wakes up, before he goes to sleep, after he eats, before he eats, after you give him treats, you name it. June's like a little vacuum and he'll eat up anything in the house, especially socks. I'm... I can't even tell you how many of my socks have gone missing from this little man right here. Let's see. Question about a 13-week-old Roddy Pup. All right. Throw them in the chat. I'll try and answer some questions. Uh, hopefully, you guys like the questions. Hopefully, I'm doing some help um, to you guys. I don't really think I have any updates. So, the ranch, the goats are doing great. It's cold outside. We do have two heat lamps for them. I did build them a little jungle gym. Some of you guys may have seen that. Some of you may not. Um, I built them a jungle gym. They are covered. It is snowing. Um, let's see. The chickens are doing well. I'm going to have to go out pr pretty soon here. So normally the dogs would have ate by now, but since we hopped on a live, the dogs are uh, chilling a little bit and since they haven't ate. Somebody asked, how do you keep your dogs so relaxed? What's the daily routine? We do have a few full videos. Uh, field trips with Rottweilers, daily routines with Rottweilers, hanging out with Rottweilers at home. We've got literally just hundreds of videos that you can check out. Now, some of the daily routine stuff is stuff we do every day. But the dogs chill with us all day, all the time. They hang out with us. Um, you know, Kina will come around the house and walk out in the garage with me and things like that. Really, their daily routine just kind of ends up being whatever mine is. It really does. You know, um, I agree with you, Daniel. I think that Rottweiler breeds are the do best dog breed ever. I really, truly do believe that. I love other types of dog breeds, but there sure is just one that rings true to my heart. Sure is. Oh, real quick, Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, we're just about to hit 3,000 followers on Instagram. So if you guys want to head over there, give us a, give us a check out on there. Give us a follow. Um, drop a comment on some of those pictures. We love interacting with you guys on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, uh, we're on TikTok as well at the Roddy channel. Um, let's see, restore a pet. I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, welcome, welcome in everybody. It looks like we've got some new viewers. We just had a viewer spike, so uh, everybody, welcome in. Real quick, I was just saying, if you if you want to follow us on any other platforms, we're on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, we're we're everywhere. Henry, Sam's not here. She joined in a little bit. She hopped in um, to say hi before she took off. She's on her way to get a pregnancy massage. So uh, let's see. Do you like do they like affection? How often do you hug, cuddle, and hold them? So yes, all of our dogs do. 
And I think that that's, you know, sometimes we have the debate is four dogs too many. Would one dog be better? Would two dogs be better? Would three dogs be better? Whatever. And one thing that we always come to is like the cool thing about one or two dogs is you can always put your attention on them. Like I only have two hands. So in order to pet all my dogs, I got to use two hands, two feet. Um, sometimes like I'll lay down with my head on one. I'll have my phone in my one hand. I'll pet one with the other hand. And then I'm laying back petting the other two with my feet. Like really it's, it's awesome to be able to love four, but I think really almost every Rottweiler loves affection, hugging them, cuddling them, all that stuff. Now, something that's important to remember is just because my dogs like cuddling with me does not mean they're going to like cuddling with you. Kenai? Yeah, probably. The other dogs, no. And the other dogs will bite you. Um, the other dogs only like to be really cuddled with us because that's just their nature. Like they they are their job is to protect you so when strangers come around they're like ah i don't know about this i'm gonna be a little skittish of them i'm gonna protect my person so that they're not their first instinct really is not to be like cuddly and lovey and vulnerable with them even though they're fine doing that with you how long are am i away from my dogs throughout the day so it used to be about eight to ten hours a day now I work full time from home. I do most of my work right here in this chair. Uh, I do video editing, professional video editing, and I run YouTube channels. I help people social market. And so actually I'm home with the dogs all the time. If I have to go off and do a video shoot. So for example, yesterday I had to go off and do a video shoot for a customer. I, I was only gone for, I think like four hours total, something like that. Um, Sam and I will go on some dates and stuff, but for the most time we're here at the house 